Well, hey there, it's Jim, and I've got my special outfit on right now. It's my Swiss outfit. Did you know that back in the day, I used to live in the little Switzerland of Ohio? It was very exciting. And I also used to work at a Swiss restaurant. And for today's video, I'm celebrating comfort food because when I think of winter, I think of comfort food. And I'm gonna be making a Swiss comfort food for you. When I worked at the Swiss restaurant, they also ran a cheese factory. It was called this, Gugusberg cheese. Well, guess what? For this recipe, I'm gonna be making something they served at the restaurant Using this cheese, I got the catalog and I ordered myself some Gugusberg baby Swiss cheese. That's what they're known for. I'm using this cheese to make an Alpine macaroni. It's got a fun name. You'll see it in the table. I'm making it now. I've chopped up some thick bacon. That's how I'm gonna start this dish. I'm just gonna cook that up. Fry it up for eight to 10 minutes. This is part of a collaboration and celebration of winter and Switzerland. Okay, the bacon is cooked and I'm saving it. And then I do have some leftover bacon grease in the pan. So I'm gonna use that bacon grease. And I'm gonna put some onions in there and we're gonna start caramelizing some onions in the bacon grease. And now it's time to start grating that Swiss cheese. You'll need about two cups of that Swiss cheese. At this restaurant that I worked at, we used to wear lederhosen. And every time someone had a birthday, we would yodel happy birthday. The thing that I loved most about working there was that in the back, we had llamas on the property and we used to feed the llamas all the leftover biscuits at the end of our shift. So wonderful. So for this special mac and cheese type comfort dish, it uses potatoes inside. I'm using these waxy golden potatoes that I'm gonna put inside of a pot and then I'm gonna cover it with some water and a little salt. Once those potatoes start boiling, you're gonna add some elbow macaroni, about eight ounces. I'm gonna cook that for about 10 minutes until soft. I've drained it, now it's time to add the ingredients. Some of them are quite fun. Starting with three fourths a cup of half and half. Let that heat up. And some unsweetened applesauce right inside. Now I'm gonna mix in all that cheese. Those caramelized onions are next. Next comes that bacon. Mix it on in there. Final ingredients, a little pepper and some nutmeg. Smells so good. Mix it up. It's time to serve. Wow, sir. This looks wonderful. This is winter comfort food on a plate. Let's try it. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Uh -oh. I love that cheese. I love that bacon. I really love that little bit of apple that pops through. That's kind of fun. And the idea of having potatoes in your mac and cheese and it works, it's so unique. Tasting this is so nostalgic and it brings me back to working at the restaurant. I just loved it so much and it makes me want to sing from the mountains. <laughs> this is part of a winter Swiss collaboration. To see more videos, check them out over here!
What's a basketball player's favorite cheese? Swish cheese. <laughs>